plasticity really is evolving and I am here for it because along with all of the quality of life stuff and incremental improvements that we get every so often Nick and the team hit us with a game changer a tool that fundamentally changes how we work with the software and in today's video we're going to talk about one of those tools that's been released in beta welcome to take refuge 3d welcome back and if you're new here then welcome now in my most recent beta update video for plasticity i mentioned that instancing had come to plasticity beta but it was in its early stages and not really ready for using well in the short space of time between releasing that video and this one many of my wishes regarding instances have now come true in the beta including mirroring instances negative scaling nesting and instancing on arrays so if you've got no idea what i'm talking about and wondering what the flying f even an instance is simply put in 3d software instances or maybe less ambiguously named linked duplicates are lightweight copies of an object that all share the same underlying geometry so instead of duplicating the mesh for every copy which uses more memory an instance just references the original data but can still have its own position rotation and scale so if you edit the original model all instances will update automatically making them ideal for things like forests or buildings in video games or props that are repeated many times in a scene instances in cad let you reuse the same part or feature many times like bolts and screws or even a whole tire so while you're only defining it once this will keep the files lighter it is speeds up performance and it means that if you change the master part that every instance updates automatically hugely reducing repetitive work and errors in complicated assemblies so it is worth mentioning that this is a beta feature only available in the unstable release branch of plasticity to studio license holders only at the moment although it will eventually go into the stable release but the functionality seen here today is likely to change a bit before the stable release comes out as bugs are ironed out and features are added so just quickly guys before we crack into it today if you haven't tried plasticity out yet you can go to plasticity.xyz and get a one month free trial and then after that if you love it as much as i do you can get a 10 percent discount off any plasticity license without further ado let's crack into it but now that we do have instances in beta and they're useful now let's have a look at how they work so in the most simple way of uh showing you let's just take this circle and select the object and i'm going to press f and i'm going to type an instance and I, you can see i've got that set to control plus shift plus d so i will probably use the keyboard shortcut for that later on so if i even just grab that instance and move it along the y-axis what you can see here is if i start to edit this uh, object then the instance updates because the instance isn't real geometry yet um it is just simply a copy of that however i can keep this at a different size and even a different scale and as i update this one the other one also updates right so this is just one way of um, doing that so this works with arrays now okay so you can pull it along array so if i've got a curve here so let's say just gg gg get it to work and then if i just choose curve array from the search menu you can see i can instance this on the array as many times as i like that's way too many but as i update this and like maybe drag a hole through you can see that that has updated so let's go back a few steps um you know obviously we can now mirror this okay so as i select these instances i can mirror them along and now i've basically got a tire for a car or something or some kind of machine and i can update just this one only 
okay and the rest all update so this is you can obviously see how useful this is and how this is going to change how people work in plasticity however we do run into a little bit of a problem when we want to add new details let's say i just take a circle and i just add a circle there and as i add that it doesn't really update the main object if i just dragged it down and did a boolean that would work but sometimes you want something just sitting on top of the object and the reason is is because these instances are only instancing this object and not anything new so the way that we can do that is we can have nested instances so let's go back right to the beginning okay and let's put our main object into a group by pressing Control and G. So this is now in this group here. And we can call this one main tire. And we can call this master group. Okay, so just remember that this object is part of this group. So now what we can do, and it isn't very obvious because if you hover over this, it doesn't highlight anything like if you hover over this, it highlights something. But if we just select the group and run our instance command, it instances the whole group. We've only got one object in the group at the moment, but just trust me, it's instancing the whole group because you can see it's master group 01 and instances. So now as we mirror these across and work on our object, so let's just say I do a chamfer here okay and let's just make something interesting just cleaning up our topology as we go along like good uh, CAD artists okay so here we've got this strange object okay but let's say we wanted to now add those objects on so I probably spent a little bit more time on that than I needed to so I can pull this polygon out and pull it out like that and you notice that it's not updated on that that's because it's not part of the instance master group so I'm just going to take this solid and I'm just going to drop it into the master group and you'll notice that all of those have now updated so now I can really I can go and do a radial array around there and that all updates for all objects so you can take this as deep as you like i guess because you can have a group within a group um so for example let's say i uh, chose this q keep the body okay and then i make this smaller like i was trying to do before and then we just radial array that around there okay we've got that we can control g those into a group we can call these hex detail well it's not a hex it's a who cares it's a pentag pentagon and then we can just turn that one off and then we can take a circle for example Okay, and we could radial array that one around the center. Add that into a group and call that circle detail. For example, and then you could just turn that off and you could basically swap out parts. So you can obviously start to see how useful this is going to be um, in the longer term. So um, obviously we've got the the nesting we can array things along a curve we can array a whole master group which means that you can uh, have instances of complicated objects with many parts that aren't necessarily all conjoined and then at the end of the day if you wanted to realize the instances what you can do here is you can go and this is one thing that i asked for in my last videos we can realize these instances and now they all become real geometry so they're no longer linked to that 
So if you could export them or if you just wanted to make small changes to that one that are different from that one, um, you could do that. So that's really cool. And I think this is just one of those things that's just going to make plasticity so much cooler and so much better for um, everyone. So I hope you like the video. Like and subscribe if you do. And, you know, the future updates and all of that. And I'll see you guys all on the next one. Tschüss.